In this problem, we're being asked to compare standard deviations of distributions without doing any calculations. Instead, we've got these, um, these diagrams that show the distribution. And there's a note in the problem here that these distributions are all symmetrical. And what you can notice is that they're all symmetrical around 9. So we're going to assume that 9 is the mean here of each of these distributions. Now, to determine standard deviation, uh, it's helpful to remember what standard deviation actually is. Standard deviation is a measurement of how far the data points are, on average, from the mean. So the more bunched in around the mean something is, the smaller the standard deviation is going to be. The more spread out they are, the larger the standard deviation is going to be for that distribution. So let's um, look at the, the uh, comparisons we can make between these three uh, diagrams. In B, you have the data all kind of scrunching towards the middle, towards 9, towards the mean. So this has got to have the smallest standard deviation of this group. If you compare B to A, well, A, it's almost the same, except they take um, the, the number that was on 11 and push it out to 12, the number that was on 7 push it out to 6. So it's more spread out. So the standard deviation, and let's see, we use theta, um, of B is less than the standard deviation of A. And let's look at this next one. Uh, this is even more spread out because they've gone from A and taken the second block and pushed it uh, outward as well. So m the data uh, sort of spreads further away from the mean. So this standard deviation is going to be even greater. So we could say that the standard deviation of C is greater than A, which is greater than B. So that's a little bit of work uh, in comparing standard deviations without calculation.